Your 401k might be one of your biggest savings tools, but how do you use it? And covered in this video, we're going to talk about the 401k withdrawal rules, how you can access and use the money that you've saved up, and then alternative options like completing a 401k to IRA rollover. I'm Scott with Siren's Financial Group, where we help people with their key questions. Are you on track for retirement? What can you do to improve your financial picture? And how can we help reduce your overall tax situation? So you've got a 401k, you've been making contributions, you're invested, that's all great, but how do you actually use it? And today's video is all about the rules around the 401k and how you can use that money that you've saved up. Now, this is just focused on 401ks. While similar to an IRA, 401ks can have their own special rules. With that, let's dive in. Now, just a reminder, the 401k is a tax deferred account. What does that mean? Well, it means that when you put money into your 401k, you actually got a tax deduction in the year that you put that money in. For example, if your taxable gross income was $100,000 and you put $10,000 into your 401k, it actually reduced your taxable income down to $90,000. Now, since all of the money that you put in, you've not yet paid taxes on it, all of that money plus all of the growth in your 401k, when you go to make withdrawals, you will owe income tax on every dollar that you decide to take out. So let's talk about when can you actually use the money that you've worked so hard to save up and what are the rules around withdrawing your money? Well, the primary rule is that after age 59 and a half, you can make as many withdrawals as you need for whatever you need. Now, remember, if you make too many withdrawals or too big of withdrawals, you could potentially run your bucket out of money. Now, prior to age 59 and a half, you might incur a 10% tax penalty, but that's where a special rule comes in called the rule of 55. Now, this is all plan specifics. You will have to check with your employer and your specific plan, but some employers and plans allow a withdrawal from your current jobs 401k with no penalty if you were to leave that job in or after the year that you turn 55. Now again, very specific here. It has to be the 401k of your current employer that you left in or after the age of 55. This could be retire, this could be let go, or maybe that you've just decided to leave and, and you've gone to another company. But again, the job that you're in or after at age 50, 55, that specific employer's 401k. So if you've got multiple 401ks, again, it's just the one specific to the employer um, that you just left. The other is that there's also some, uh, I'll say, other rules or non-age-based rules out there that allow you to withdraw from your 401k. It could be if uh, the employee is totally or permanently disabled, if you were to, or the employee were to pass away. And then other is that if you were to maybe experience significant hardships. And in regards to that kind of detail, you're really going to have to see your specific 401 day. 401k plan details. The other could be is that if the plan was terminated, well, then they would allow you before those ages to uh, roll it over to an IRA or to another plan. Another age-based rule regarding your 401k is the required minimum distributions. Now, this is going to be required at age 72. This is the trigger for required minimum distributions where you're going to be required to take withdrawals for your from your 401k. Now, there is an exception to this rule. Um, some employers, if you are still working, you can avoid taking your required minimum distribution for as long as you remain employed. Not all plans allow this. So you really need to check with your specific employer and your plan. But if you're still working, still employed, contributing to your 401k, you might have an exception to the required minimum distribution rule, especially if you're saying, hey, wait a second, I don't necessarily need the money right now because I'm still working. Again, check with your employer, check with your plan, but you might not have to take the 401k, 401k withdrawals required distributions if you're still working. Now, when it comes to your money 
in the 401k plan, you have a couple options. One is, is as long as that plan stays in place, you can leave your money in the employer sponsored plan. Or another option is that you can do a rollover to an IRA. If done properly, a rollover to an IRA is a non-taxable event. That's where you're taking your funds from your 401k and then you're putting them into an IRA in your name. Now, if you're a, now, if you've left your employer, you can do a 401k to an IRA rollover at any age. However, if you are still employed, you're still working, some plans allow you to do this rollover starting at age 59 and a half, and they call that an in-service withdrawal. Now, you'll need to um, look at your specific plan to see if they allow this or not. And why is it that you would want to potentially do that, even if you're still working? Well, why roll over? First off, one of the reasons that you may wish to roll over 401k to IRA is to take control of your money. The other is it allows you then to start consolidating and getting organized, consolidate all of your qualified plans into one IRA. By doing this, there might be some additional tax efficient strategies available to you. The ability to uh, potentially look at your funds now and maybe shift money between buckets, between the IRA or Roth IRA bucket. Now, if you do this again, that's a taxable event. But the reason why you may wish to consider that is to pay tax today to help reduce your potential long term tax burden. Another reason is that you have access to more, you may have access to more investment options in an IRA than you would have in your 401k. Another reason is you might be able to have potentially lower investment fees, fund fees in the IRA. And then I find that folks are looking to roll over to an IRA to, again, help optimize the investments to their financial picture their retirement plan. So that's why some actually do it prior to their retirement. They use that in-service withdrawal so they can take control of their funds and money and start investing them and optimizing them according to their specific retirement plan. I hope you found value and benefit in this video. And if so, and you'd like to see additional videos just like this to help you build wealth and improve your overall financial picture, subscribe to our YouTube channel or connect with us on Facebook. You can subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button below the video. There's no cost to do so. And that way you'll get notified as we continue to come out with additional videos just like this to help you in your financial future. Thanks and have a great day.